Welcome back. Another exciting segment at Marvel Live Comic Con 2015 brought to you by Marvel Future Fight from Net Marvel. I'm Ryan Panagos, AKA Marvel's Agent M. I am Blake Garris, and we have the very special pleasure of sitting with Mr. Hey, Ernest is your. That's like, my fancy writer. Title. We, call, we can call you Ernie. Cause you guys, yeah, because yeah, you're Marvel. You guys can call me Ernie. Ernest Klein, who's pretty much like the most successful man in the world right now. Congratulations on everything. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. What's what's how how are things? You must be really busy. Things are great. Well, this is like kind of my I've been holed up writing for the past uh, year, so this is now I'm coming out to unveil what I've been working on to the world and, and meet the people. It's awesome. I had my first signing here last night, and uh, uh, I'm uh, gonna try to make the I'm I'm stalking Snake Plissken. That's my goal while I'm here. I'm gonna try to track him down tomorrow. Uh, but that's really it. Did you drive your, um, um, your the car, the famous car here? I, you know, I brought the DeLorean last time I was at Comic Con, and I learned my lesson. You know, like it's hard enough with a normal car to get around San Diego, uh, and when you have a time machine, it just uh, you're a fool. So I I, learned, I flew in this time. <laughs> Where were you signing? Uh, uh, right at uh, Random House. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, they have all, their booth. Yeah, and great. And I'm doing an IO9 uh, panel tonight, and then I have a couple signings tomorrow. It's on my website. You guys can find it. Yeah. Very cool. Uh, so the new book is called Armada? Yes. I have a copy, and I've been waiting to have time to read it. Like, I knew I had to get through Comic-Con. I have to get through Ant-Man coming out. And then I have some time off, and I'm just going to devour it. Because I loved, as you know, I loved Ready Player One. Yeah. What is Armada all about? Armada is kind of like my version of Star Wars and The Last Starfighter and Ender's Game uh, and Explorers all mashed up together. The core idea is what if the what if the video gamers of Earth could all use their uh, Xbox consoles and Nintendos and Playstations uh, to control drones to fight off an alien invasion. This is the basic idea. So like everybody using like robots and aerial drones to defend their own neighborhood with their Xboxes, like I just can't get enough of that. So it's it's kind of a, like my mashup. It's, uh, uh, of, uh, of like Ender's Game and The Last Starfighter, but in, in a present day, like a gamer version of it. And I think you guys, you know, could enlist and, and help uh, defend the Earth. You have some serious gamer skills. Right on. I do. Yeah, yeah I'm All real right. good. <laughs> I'll win. I'm gonna save the Earth. Um, so there's a, there's a really cool connection with you and Marvel in terms of Ready Player One. Uh, explain to some of the fans who maybe haven't read it, how you in sort of incorporated Marvel into that. Well, it's I don't know if that it was Marvel at the time. I was so excited. I had, I'm a huge fan of uh, uh, Spider-Man, grew up loving Spider-Man, but I love this weird offshoot of uh, the Japanese Spider-Man, Spider-Man, that happened back in the 70s. So I had the protagonist at one point in Ready Player One uh, uh, pilot uh, Marveler, Leopardon, uh, uh, the Japanese Spider-Man's giant robot. And then I think just last year, he like made an appearance and it actually became canon. So yeah. I was using him before he was canon. Yeah, it's Which, pretty great. Yeah. I love that show so much. Oh, so good. It is bonkers. <laughs> it is so fun. Like the thing will show up as a bad guy. Like weird stuff happens. <laughs> Japanese Spider-Man. You guys had them all available on Marvel.com. We did for a long time. We were trying to figure out how to how we want to use them again. So stay tuned for that. It, it's going to be super Cool. You also have, I am a huge Godzilla fan, so having Mecha Godzilla in, in Ready Player One was also awesome. And like the weight that you gave to Mecha Godzilla was super cool. Thank you, man. I'm, you know, that's what's got me so excited about Steven Spielberg doing the movie because who would say no to him? Like he could get Ultraman, Mecha Godzilla, you guys would probably let him use Spider Man, Spider Man, I don't know. I hope so. I so, hope so. Fingers yeah. crossed. You just sort of like yeah. threw, like, tell you know, like, oh, this is Steven Spielberg guy, whatever. <laughs> I know. Well, everybody knows that. All the people watching this already heard that news. Yeah, you can't escape it on the internet. But yeah, it's like, I, I tell people it's like Vanilla Sky or The Matrix. I assume it's all, you know, Occurrence at Owl Creek Bridge. I'm making it all up in my head. There's no way I drive a DeLorean and I'm going to make a movie with Steven Spielberg. I'm just, I've, I've clearly lost it. It's got to be fun. I like, know. how far, where in the process are you guys? Uh, they, uh, Zach uh, Penn is uh, working on the, finalizing the script with Mr. Spielberg's changes right now, and I'm told they're gonna go into uh, pre-production here in the fall and then shoot it maybe next year, oh and then maybe the year after that, so it's gonna be a crazy couple of years. Are you gonna be, uh, like, on set all the time being they're able to They're not gonna be able to, they're gonna have to keep me off. <laughs> like, they're gonna have to, I'm just gonna wear disguises and sneak off, like, I don't know, I think it'll be, I think it'll be cool, I think they'll let me hang out. I'll just keep my mouth shut and watch, I just wanna... That's one to watch. Totally fair. Uh, we got some, again, if you guys are watching, questions, use hashtag MarvelSDCC. One just uh, came in from Wade Pinder. He says, uh, Ernie, any plans to write a Marvel comic? Can't wait for Armada next week. I just pre-ordered it. Uh, anyone? 
he's like super excited. I would love to write a Marvel comic. We talked about the last time when yeah, I came and visit. I, yeah, yeah, I will too... throw you at the editors if I have to. <laughs> someday, like well, as soon as I finish uh, the movies and books that I'm working on right now, yes, I would love to do that someday. Uh, well, is that going to be like 2000? 30. I, I know. No, maybe like I think a year or two. I think maybe I'll find time. I'm, you know, uh, uh, we'll see. Yeah. Um, ben J. Morse, who is co host of our podcast, senior editor for Marvel's uh, digital media stuff that we do. I gave him my copy. I, I think I gave him my copy of Ready Player One. Uh, and he just he just tweeted, I just finished it on the train. Perfect timing. Oh. And he, he'd been loving it through throughout. Oh, so sweet. Tell him I said thank you. Yes. Uh, what else we got? Uh, Stephen Bishop says, oh my god, I was just talking about Japanese Spider-Man with my friend. Are you watching me? Are you watching Stephen Bishop? No, I'm, I'm not, but oh. I will now. Yeah, we're going to watch him. <laughs> um, yeah, there's uh, a lot of stuff coming. Yeah. Uh, Etsy's looking for tweets. Can you tell fans how to reach you online? Because you have a very active social media yes. presence. Yes, uh, you can well. find me, ErnestKlein.com. And Armada, my new book, uh, uh, has a couple websites, but just ArmadaBook.com. Yeah. Any Marvel references therein? Oh yeah, uh, I really I can't like help but like weave uh, Marvel and you know all the stuff that I love ends up working its way. Just like when you talk with you know when I'm talking with the guys like you, you weave all that stuff into the conversation. I try to write in that voice and weave it all in there. So yeah, there's, there's stuff for Marvel fans in Armada as well. Awesome, very cool. Ernie, thank you for coming by. Yeah, thank you so uh, much for inviting me. We're gotta have you back at Marvel headquarters, do another podcast, hang out, you know, sign you to a contract to do some comics, you know, all I'm that down. Goodness. Let's do it. Awesome. awesome. Cool. Guys, stay tuned. Much more to come from Marvel Live at Comic-Con, brought to you by Future Fight. Back really soon with, I don't know, super fun stuff. <laughs>